Introducing the Wall of Heroes. These are all real people who did amazing things to make our world a better place. Let's make your own amazing hero to go on the wall with them. Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci dreamed up ideas for lots of stuff we still use today. Um, well sure, art is fantastic, but it's okay to try many different activities. As a journalist, that's someone who's curious about people and places and writes about them. When you really want to do something, be bold. Wow, Dolores Huerta. Dolores Huerta always cared a lot about helping others. It's important to speak up to help people. Look, Carol Burnett. She loves to make other people laugh by putting on shows, singing, dancing, and telling funny stories. Of course, it's good to laugh at yourself. Rukmini Devi. Rukmini Devi was born in India in the year 1904. When she grew up, she helped bring back an awesome traditional dance style called Bharatanatyam. Traditions tell the story of your family. Amazing, Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley had such a big imagination. I say let your imagination run wild and have fun telling stories your own way. Ooh, James Naismith. The idea James had was for a game where you throw a ball into a basket. That game was... Basketball! If I can't play one game, I just try a different idea until I find a game that I can play. It's Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks worked her whole life to make sure everyone was treated equally. So all people could drink from the same water fountains, go to the same schools, and sit wherever they liked on the bus. We still need to make sure everyone everywhere is treated equally. Wow, Abraham Lincoln! When he grew up, he became the President of the United States, who earned the nickname Honest Abe. I have to be honest. That means I need to tell the truth, even if it's hard to do. Amazing! Sacagawea! When she was growing up, Two explorers named Lewis and Clark needed her help to find a way to the Pacific Ocean. Come on! This way! Over here! Follow me! What? It's Charles Dickens! Charles Dickens used his imagination to write great stories. Well, not really, but I imagined we did. Your imagination makes everything more fun. Oh. 
Um, it's Charles Dickens. Amazing. Nikola Tesla. Amazing. Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale was a nurse who taught us lots to help people feel better. Helping people always feels good. It's proof of just how important it can be to help people as best you can. Ooh, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was one of the biggest thinkers ever. He figured out how to use electricity to power so many things we use every day. Keep thinking big. Amazing! Confucius. He grew up to be a teacher, helping more people learn what is now called the Golden Rule. others how you would like to be treated. It's the Bronte Sisters! The Bronte Sisters all wrote great stories for people to read. There are many ways to come up with story ideas, you know. Wow! Fred Rogers. When he grew up, he started his very own TV show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You're all special people, and I like you just the way you are. Whoa! Ibn Battuta. He spent almost 30 years visiting different countries, meeting new people, and experiencing new cultures. Visiting new places can be inspiring. Wow! Bob Ross! Bob Ross loved to paint, and he loved teaching others how to paint too in a way that made them relax and feel good. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. The trick is not to let them get you down. Instead, try turning a mistake into a happy accident. Amazing, Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens became one of the greatest runners ever, proving that being great doesn't depend on what you look like or where you come from. Focus on doing your best. Wow! Jonas Salk! His work protected millions of kids from getting polio so they could run, jump, and play! feels good to help people. It's Johann Sebastian Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach wrote a ton of amazing songs. If you want to get better at something, you have to work hard on practice. I'm going to practice right now. Tasai. Tomioka Tasai's paintings told stories that were special to him, and he was proud to tell them. <laughs> Sharing stories about my family makes me feel proud. Look, Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou was an incredible poet and writer whose words have been read by people all around the world. That's why it's important to use your words for good. Amazing! Golda Meir! Golda Meir was a leader who loved solving problems. She's totally my hero. 
on a mission is to tell people about big problems so we can solve them together. Are you with me? Amazing! Alexander Hamilton! Alexander Hamilton was one of the founding fathers of the United States. Of course! New adventures are exciting! Just you wait! Ooh! Harriet Tubman! Harriet Tubman was super courageous, smart, and heroic. She had the courage to help herself and others, rescuing a lot of people, even though it was really scary. But real courage is bravely moving forward, even when you're scared. Wow, Louis Pasteur. He was a great scientist who saved lives with his discoveries. It's important to think about what you need before you start. Whoa! Isaac Newton! Isaac Newton was one of the greatest scientists ever. When I slow down and think through problems, I usually come up with a solution. over 100 new things. I just love to try out new ideas. It's Cleopatra. Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt and she was born a long, long, long time ago. I'm going to ask him the right way. I'll be prepared, confident, and polite. It's Rachel Carson. She cared so much about protecting the Earth that she wrote three books which totally changed how people think about the oceans. We can all help to protect the Earth, each of us doing our own small part. Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini was such a brave magician. Try taking a deep breath to calm down. It'll make you feel better. Amazing, Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald was an amazing singer who became known around the world as the First Lady of Song. You should always be yourself, because there's no one in the world quite like you. It's George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver taught people how to take care of the earth and themselves. People call me the plant doctor because I'm always helping plants. It's important to take care of the earth, you know. using whatever you do have. Believe me, you can do a lot with what you've got. Ooh, Helen Keller. Helen Keller learned to do so many things, but in a different way. It's very hard for her. That's why I'm trying to teach Helen a different way to hear and speak, so people know what she needs or wants to say. Look, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. He was a doctor, and he wrote stories about an amazing mystery-solving detective named Sherlock Holmes. You can learn a lot by looking 
talking and listening. Ooh, Junko to bay. Junko never gave up. And look, she made it to the top of the tallest mountain in the world. You can do something that's never been done before by never giving up. Amazing! Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell worked his whole life to help people speak for themselves. Oh yes, not everyone speaks like we do, but we all have something to say. So it's very important we listen to everyone. did amazing things as a scientist. No, I will follow my dream no matter what. I just do not know how yet. Wow, Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall spent his whole life making sure everything was fair and equal for everyone. Remember our one very important rule. Be fair to everyone. Look, Mary Anning. Some people call her the princess of paleontology because she was one of the best fossil hunters ever. When you start something, it feels good to finish it. Zora Neale Hurston. Zora Neale Hurston was a writer who told so many amazing stories. That's because stories are best when you share them with others. They make everyone feel good. I even have a few of my own. Amazing, Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great was the Empress of Russia and did a lot of great things. Yes, but it's much more fun to get out and make new friends. Wouldn't you agree? Whoa, Wilma Rudolph. Wilma Rudolph was one of the best runners ever and the first American woman to win three gold medals all at the same Olympic Games. That first run was pretty shaky. But no matter where you start, you can always get better. Wow, Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt really loved nature and protected it by creating national parks. Nature needs space to live and grow, just like people do. Wow! Temple Grandin! Temple teaches people all about autism and why it's so great that everyone thinks and does things differently. No thank you. Everyone always wants me to do things their way, but I like doing things my way. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was one of the greatest thinkers ever, convincing people that everyone should have the chance to go to school and learn. The more words you know, the more things you can learn, and the learning can take you anywhere. Look, Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt helped a lot of people as a First Lady of the United States. I always say you should take every chance you get to help others. Hey, it's Billie Jean King. She inspired a lot of girls to play sports. 
and she still does today. Girls and boys can do the same things. It's Gigantasay. Gigantasay was born about a thousand years ago. She knew that the best way for people to live together is peacefully. And that you should always solve problems in a peaceful way. Wow! Jane Jacobs! Jane Jacobs believed a great city has what everyone needs. I need to think about what everyone needs. really hard to make sure everyone got to have a vote. That's right. Everyone should have a vote. Look! Jackie Joyner Kersey. To do something that's never been done before, I'll have to go step by step. Just like Jackie Joyner Kersey. You can do something that's never been done before by going step by step. Wow! Anna Pavlova! Anna Pavlova was one of the greatest ballet dancers ever. Don't worry, I didn't get into ballet school the first time I tried. But when you love doing something, you have to keep trying. So I did. And now, here I am! Amazing! Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart flew across the Atlantic Ocean faster than anyone ever by being prepared. You can do something that's never been done before by being prepared. It's Cesar Chavez. Cesar made sure farm workers were treated fairly and got the things they needed. It may be hard, but we can do a lot when we work together. It's Sir Winston Churchill. Sir Winston Churchill is considered one of the best leaders of all time. No, when you have something important to say, you need to speak up for yourself. I know how to win. Look, George Washington. George Washington was the very first president of the United States. Of course, a good leader takes care of his team. Amazing! Celia Cruz! She was known as the Queen of Salsa, which is a fun kind of music you can dance to. Da, 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 da. When you're nervous, holding something special can help you feel better. 